Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video. This is the second episode of learning new five sentences every day. Well, before I start uh, my session, I would like to mention something. Well, <clears throat> a lot of new students who want to learn English, they are basically taught some uh, like a basic sentence. Like I will go, he will go, he goes, he eats, they are eating, he is going. I'm, I'm a student, I'm good, he is bad. So these sort of sentences you're basically taught and when you just talk to a foreigner at the time when the foreigner asks you that hey how you are doing so in in response you just say to him because you are so much nervous and you forget everything and you just say to him or her i am good good you are good good so uh, listening to you for a while foreigner just uh, gape at you like and then like they lose their interest like not talking to you so my suggestion is that like you know <clears throat> uh, when you learn a basic sentences i think it is important to learn but each and every day you need to learn new sentences you need to develop your you know quality so for that reason i have come before you and today i have come with the five uh like uh, innovative sentences I think you must actually uh, get some lesson from uh, my second ep episode, like uh, learning new five sentences every day. So let's start now. Okay. <clears throat> so the first sentence is, uh, I feel numb hearing the bad news. So I think here is the numb is the like a uh, unknown vocabulary vocabulary to you. So most of the students do not know the meaning of it. So I use, the, I just actually apply it in a sentence. I feel numb hearing the bad news. So I think you can clearly get what it means. So I feel numb when I heard her father actually, uh, her father died. So it means that I feel like I'm getting paralyzed. So numb, numb means like getting paralyzed. So I think now you understand the meaning of numb. So like you can also say it, uh, here it is actually, you know, numb, here is a adjective. You can use um, it as a verb or a noun. For example, if I use it as a verb, uh, like, uh, you know, his behavior numbs me. So <clears throat> that this is how you can use numb. Okay, now actually we go for the second one, bliss, you know, bliss. So bliss is a thing, uh, barely be bought with the money. So again, I, I just actually want to um, like read it again for you. Like, bliss is a thing barely be bought with the money. So here actually, bliss is a noun. So we can use this actually happiness. So happiness is a thing barely be bought with the money. So instead of actually uh, happiness, I, I just use bliss. So this is a very new thing that you learn and it's a noun. So you just learn it. So instead of a happiness, you can use the bliss to everybody. Like, hey, um, uh, like uh, I, I, I feel so much blissful talking to you. So here I use actually blissful as an adjective. So you can actually use a bliss or a blissful. Uh, it, it actually verifies uh, like a, from sentence to sentence. So I think you get actually what bliss mean. So I'll go for the next one. Um, like uh, next one is so easy I'm staying in a posh restaurant but here is actually my tram word like a posh you know I'm staying in a posh restaurant so let me give you more example like <clears throat> uh, my friend always we wears the posh clothes you know clothes so here actually posh you know means like a uh, elegant and expensive so I'm staying in a posh restaurant. So here actually I'm using staying. Uh, there is actually, I, th there is a wrong conception between a stay and a leave. So if you actually uh, go somewhere else and want to uh, like, a, want to stay over there for like a couple of days. So in that case, you can use a stay. So suppose I'm leaving in an apartment. So since I'm, I have been living over there for a long time, so I use it actually leave rather than stay so if you go anywhere and just uh, stay uh, that place for a short time you need to use a stay so that's like a, a stay difference between stay and a and a like a leave and posh i think you understand the meaning of posh 
So go for the next one. And the next one is he is in a diabolical condition. So he is in a diabolical condition. So <clears throat> suppose um, I just uh, I just say that hey you know that uh, like uh, one of my friend uh, is very bad uh, like he has no financial support and like he is in a diabolical condition it means that he is in a bad condition so instead of use bad or worse I can use the diabolical so it sounds actually better than the other two words because uh, like uh, bo both of this word used by the ordinary people but if you use the diabolical I mean people will look at him and look at you and they will say oh my god he know I mean he knows like the word actually diabolical so like they will like be surprised or be muse <clears throat> okay so go for the next one I mean this is the last one for you and that will be the end of our conversation for today but uh, before I actually um, um, end up our conversation I like to finish uh, reading our the uh, I mean reading the last sentence okay the, so the last sentence is the situation turned volatile at around 5 p.m. so here is the actually unknown one word for you it is volatile volatile means like unstable and I mean stable so or you can actually say that becoming dangerous the situation turned becoming dangerous at around 5 p.m. or unstable okay so you can use the volatile uh, like uh, the situation turn volatile at around 5 p.m. or the situation uh, turn uh, like uh, becoming dangerous at uh, 5 p.m. so <clears throat> I think you all understand the five sentence along with the five new vocabs so le let's start it again uh, like I feel numb hearing the bad news uh, bliss is a thing barely be bought with the money I am staying in a posh restaurant. He is in a diabolical condition. The situation turned volatile at around 5 p.m. So stay uh, in touch with me all the time and learn a new thing from me because those are the examples you will you will never get from uh, anywhere. Like uh, most of the institution or institution or anywhere you go, they will teach you the, some basic sentences. But I always collect some, you know like uh, uh, extraordinary things like some jewel like some pearl that you can use in your sentences and you can change uh, like a, you can be very uh, exclusive or different using them so uh, I think today is the end of our session and I will come with the new uh, like a new learning five uh, new actually new five sentences every day tomorrow and until then until then i hope that you will be fine and you will learn all of the sentences and thank you so much for uh, watching them thank you bye bye good night